ADRA is recognized as the industry representative by all um, relevant government departments, um, legislative uh, portfolio committees, uh, as well as industry regulators. Our membership consists of um, companies registered as debt collectors in terms of the Debt Collectors Act. Um, we also have approximately 40 to 50 law firms specializing in debt collection who are registered with ADRA. Um, as well as a number of credit providers who have substantial in-house debt collection divisions um, who are members of ADRA. The 2017 financial year has been quite a um, challenging year for ADRA. It started off with the constitutional judgment in the so-called Stellenbosch matter. I think the main achievement there for ADRA was to prevent the judgment of the court of quo um, being retrospective um, in that all EAOs granted against um, consumers by clerks of the court being set aside and those funds having to be refunded to the consumers. The impact of that is very significant. On the best figures available to us, it amounted to more than 200 million rand in capital that would have had to be paid back to consumers. During 2018, ADRA expects um, a further increase in um, regulatory compliance. Um, we know that the um, Protection of Personal Information Act um, will be coming into effect um, during 2018, and that will dramatically affect the relationship between debt collector and credit provider. The credit provider ultimately remains responsible for personal protected data, and will there have to be closer cooperation between debt collector and credit provider in this regard? The biggest opportunity that will arise during 2018 will surely be the implementation of the Debt Collectors Amendment Bill. This bill, inter alia, entails the complete revision of all codes of conduct and all tariffs relevant to the debt collection industry. ADRA is looking forward to working with the industry regulators in um, formulating this new code and tariffs which um, should come into effect then during 2019. One of the biggest challenges facing the debt collection industry during 2018 is the um, introduction of AC or debit check. The debt collection industry is completely dependent on a um, real-time, non-face-to-face, end-to-end solution, and this solution as a date does not exist. We're also dependent on that solution being an in-call solution um, and will be, be focusing on securing that such a solution is available in 2019. We are currently experiencing a drastic increase in technology in our, in our industry and am I particularly excited about um, artificial intelligence and platforms created within our industry. I do believe that this will be the future of the debt collection industry and that it will vastly change the manner in which especially call centers operate. The credit provider remains responsible for the conduct of the debt collection partners and is it critical that they protect their industry reputation. In this regard, ADRA is prepared to assist MFSA members um, should they be in the process of appointing a debt collection partner, MFSA members are welcome to contact the ADRA office. We will be able to assist with um, checking various registrations with the Council for Debt Collectors, with the law societies, etc., and also provide the MFSA member with some background on the disciplinary history of the particular contractor the MFSA, MFSA member is considering. We do call on MFSA members be, to be particularly vigilant in who they appoint and to make sure that these companies are fully compliant.